Today we got an exciting day going on. We got a field day. Uh, equipment trial field crop demonstration. Man, and I'm behind, like always. Let's get to it. So you probably saw a lot of equipment over there. Yeah, they, all the dealerships brought their new toys over to us to demonstrate and to play with, like always. Can't wait to do it. And I'm behind, like always. Woke up late this morning. Man, I got so much to set up. This I'm trying to have all the neighbors waiting on me. Oh, all right. I'm going to put this tailgate down. Need to put some product in the back of here. There we go. Move around the hay bales. Uh, I think that'd be all right. All right. Hopefully, I can get that that pallet in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. So our field over there by the house. I don't know if I told you this, but it's going to be a crop uh, demoing area. It was. It was all planted with the same seed. It's our best seed for this area, for us at least. And what they're going to be doing is doing uh, different types of nitrogen application. Oh no. Oh, it fell off the forks. Ooh. Ooh, don't break. That's a lot of money right there. Ooh. Oh yeah, I would have been in the doghouse if that thing busted open. Ugh. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. It didn't break. All right, let's try to do this. The speed of safe this time. Yeah. There we go. Sit in there nicely. All right, now we need to hook up our trailer quick. All right, our little tender, our fertilizer tender tank here is all set up, ready to go. So we got all of our fertilizer ready. Well, at least this batch. So we are off. We're doing different applications, and we're doing different styles of like 28 nitrogen. Uh, there is a few different variances you can get. So the key to this is it shows if different applications like Y drop or let's say uh, side dressing or uh, if you're just putting it or spray uh, different types of nitrogen intakes. Uh, do they stunt the crop? Do they help the crop grow? That type of thing. So that's why we are all here. We're still waiting for a few sprayers. I did want to bring my sprayer out just so I can compare that sprayer to the new sprayers just to see if it's worth purchasing. I guess my all right, my sprayer is stuck back in the back there, so I'm gonna have to move this grain cart so I can fire up my old Kenworth and bring that old spray over there. Start up 80, 8300 here. Hook it up to the grain cart, just pull it out there quick. Alright, that's pulled out of the way now. We'll leave that be for now. Everyone's waiting on us. Alright, got my sprayer here. So this is basically what I own myself. I'm gonna try my Haggy sprayer against all the big time competition. You know, the high dollar brand new items out there. Sure, I miss everything there. And that sun visor sure goes down far. I feel like I, I need to squat down in my seat or something. Oh, 
Alright, pull this over. Probably park this to the side over here. Give my neighbor's room to park. Oh. Peggy, you're still mine. Even though you you you're kind of go probably going to look a little wrinkly, you know, oh, compared to the newbies, the shiny metal, all the new, they don't have no rust from the 28 yet like you do. But hey, you're broke in. You're wore in. You're a good haggy. What the heck is this thing? What? I have never seen a case. Is this the new Patriot? Dude, this has got to be a new product. What do we have coming up here? Look at that thing. Alright. Man. Whoo. Man. The dealers are bringing out all the stops today. Look. Whoo. That's a lot of money going right there. Alright. We have got the lineup here now. So we got a brand new 8RT from Platte Valley down the road. You know that dealership. A 370 with saddle tanks on the side. What is these? Some side quest by Dimco. So this is actually a Dimco side dressing uh, application rig. So, ooh, wow, look at that. That's one heck of a boom on that thing. Yeah. Nice little side application. It's kind of weird. I wish the tires ran the same so they don't run down the same uh, row. So, yeah, that's one negative about it. I think these tracks, so there you are, what? The smallest tracks or 18 inches. So, I think they're all the way stretched out to the max width. So, yeah, it's a pretty good looking rig. Look inside this thing. Yeah, this thing is whew, futuristic. So this is the new 2020 deer out there. This thing is going to be a nice demonstration. So really, we're not really demonstrating this, but we're going to be looking at it. So John Deere use this uh, demonstration time to their advantage and look at the new deers but we're really demonstrating uh, application nitrogen application so this is a pull type high boy sprayer turnable hitch here so steerable hitch not turn so it basically that way it follows so the front duels follows the same path as the back duels here when you're turning so you don't get that uh that iron disease you know when the tires or the rubber disease where it runs over I do not know why this uh, this is a new 7R the new style you can tell by the top of the cab and the mirrors has a loader on it and what this loader exactly does hmm. a little odd but all right all right, well, I'll use it. I don't know what the Zackler are trying to get from that. Then there are little big booms on that pull type sprayer. Be nice. Now this kind of caught my eye. I do not remember Case coming Patriots. So I kind of remember from the Welkers that they did have a new concept Case with a big snout on front. This has duels all the way around, which I don't really prefer when we're going through corn, but i it's a demonstration, so it, I'm getting it sprayed for free, so I'm not going to complain too much here. So it does have, this looks like they kind of mocked this off of the John Deere 4045 40, R. 
if I was John Deere, I would be checking my patents. Let's just say that. Don't really know. Jump in this thing. Yeah, it looks like a John Deere inside with case steering wheel. That's odd. Yeah, did John Deere, did your patent run out? What, what, what happened here? I, I don't know exactly what happened, but something odd is going down. So we need to get all these filled up with nitrogen. I think the side applicator is already filled up. So we're going to run that in the field. I just want to see it. So I'm going to go over here. So we got to make make sure we're making plots of uh, nitrogen yeah, this looks like a good area start unfolding this beast wow Ooh. Uh, it's wider than what I thought yeah I know that's what she said right. Ooh. that thing is huge Let's check this thing out. Wow. Definitely a wide applicator here. Don't have to make many trips through the field here. Put that thing down. And we are going. Uh, uh, drive straight there, dummy. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, this won't take long, folks. Wow, we going fast. Whew. It's hard keeping in the roads going this fast. Here we go. We are already at the end. Wow. I was not expecting it to go quite that speed. They said it was a fast applicator, but whew. All right, don't want to hit a tree with this uh, expensive piece of equipment that I do not own. Alright, get right here. Put that down. And we are off again. Wow. Flying through the field. Doesn't take no time here. Wow, look at that thing. Look at her go. Man, this thing is flying. I'm not sure where we got all the mud from, though. Whew. Definitely caked on with the mud. The only thing I don't like about this is it does run a little bit low, so we might have some stock break off here. It's going, so I just wish that the bar here was a little bit higher. Our corn, we probably waited a little bit too long, especially for side dressing. So kind of need high boy sprayers for this uh, type of application definitely is one heck of a efficient rig here row guidance this thing I don't even have to steer it's a good thing and this is how you get farmer spoiled here All right I'm gonna hopefully test out one of the other see if we could test out one of these other applicators turn this on so I'm not sure exactly what they changed I think they kind of changed everything the same as the other 8R the bigger 8Rs I'm all messing with the sprayer and didn't even notice the fill gauge yeah gotta fill this thing up can't spray until it's full dummy just some more iron damage here so look at my old wrinkly sprayer over there 
Yeah. That thing is ancient compared to all these sprayers. Where exactly do we need to go here? Alright, here we go. We're spraying now. So, I wish this thing had Y drops on it, so it basically put it on the surface. That would be nice. Definitely don't want to spray over this stuff. Love the tractor, though. Don't know about the sprayer. It's it's good sprayer. Man, that tractor is sweet looking. My cab. I think the only thing that really I noticed that changed is the cab. Got to almost do the same thing again. Still got to fill this thing up with some fertilizer. Get this thing filled up. Fill this up. Grab this hose. Yank it over here. Connect it. There we go. Filling it up. While we're doing that, let's check out, man, our neighbors. So there's Jim's truck there. Looks like that's a new Duramax there. Beautiful dually there. Beautiful 2500 HD green. Oh, got the, the power ram. Three quarter ton. Listen to this. Oh man, we got the power stroke. High boy here. Squad must be around here. Um, we got the Silverado uh, style right before the recent style. Oh, the big one ton truck. And the old school, what is this, about 97 uh, Chevy single cab there. Beautiful rigs. Neighbors know how to pick it, that's for sure. This high boy, look at it. Straddle the rolls right there. Beautiful. Not sure if this is real or not. I don't think this is real. Pretty sure this is a reskin. Looks good though. One heck of a concept. But thank you all for watching. And I will see you later. Over here in Missouri on Medicine Creek. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Holy cow. Them flashers are uh, annoying. Kind of cool looking, but definitely don't want to see, look at them all the time. Don't forget, make sure you smash that like button. Thank you all. I appreciate it.